Hello, today is October 1st, 2010. In the month of September here in Florida, we have what's called love bugs. I want to give you a brief tour of our love bugs this year. I'm not sure if the camera will pick them all up, but they are all over our house this year. Love bugs in Florida come out in the month of May and September. And these love bugs didn't get the memo that it's October 1st. If you'll notice, they are all over the house. Love bugs look very similar to a firefly or a lightning bug, but they don't light up. Um, if you'll notice, the reason they're called love bugs is there's usually two joined together, a male and a female. The female is larger, the male is uh, smaller, and usually um, the male is kind of dragged around by the female. <laughs> um, you will see them all over Florida. Like I said, in the month of May and the month of um, September. This year seems to be pretty, pretty bad from all other years. The bad thing about love bugs is that when you hit them with your car, if you leave them, the splattered bugs on the front of your car, their um, guts are like acid and it can eat the paint off the car if you don't remove it very quickly. So after we um, come back from a drive, there's usually love bugs covered on our windshield um, and on the front of the vehicle. I have since washed this, or the front of this vehicle just to be sure I got them all off. But this is something we have to do every day until the love bugs are gone. Uh, the love bugs don't really have a predator because from what we gather or what we've heard is that they taste really bad to birds. So birds will not eat them. But you can see our neighbor's house here is covered in love bugs. I'm not exactly sure why they chose to congregate in this area, but you can see them all over the meter. You can see them all of learning the meat of the house. You can see them all around the window. They're just everywhere. They don't um they don't really sting or anything, but they don't bite you or anything, but they're just a nuisance because they crawl all over you <laughs> and then you take them in the house with you <laughs> and then you have love bugs all in the house. So, but um, they'll go away just as quick as they came, but they're just a nuisance. And it would be really nice if somebody could come up with an invention <laughs> to get rid of the love bugs because um, they cause a lot of damage to cars. You'll notice here's some here, a whole grouping of them here in this window, all around, all around the eve of the house. There's a grouping there. And they get all in your hair. <laughs> they get all over you. They crawl all over you so that when you take them in the house, <laughs> there's some more there. They're everywhere. The main thing is you need to make sure you get them off of your car because it can really do a lot of paint damage if you leave them on your car. Here's a few on my grill. There's one on me. We'll go back up here to the front and see. You can see them congregating all over the wall. Not sure exactly why they're all over the house today, but they're everywhere. Okay, that's an idea of the Florida love bug. <laughs>